still got it off and switched it. Right? Yeah, he right? He shot. Yeah. Right. Out of that desperation where he was forced to do it. Everyone knew he was going to do it, and he still did it and made it. See? Yeah, He'll really learn to have that desperation well, during the game. Well, right? I think, well, I think, but you have to understand, too, Jason has to also, it has to be a perfect dribble flow. No, I can tell when he's going to make it. I can tell. I can tell when Jason's going to make it because he has rhythm. Right? And then I can tell sometimes he just poofs it up there like, like, and I go, well, that wasn't a good shot, Jason. And he hits the front rim. He answered. I mean, he called out. Oh, so I think, I think what happened, I think what happens, it, what happens is that Jason has to be able to You know, um, because of the on-ball defense. Right. You know, so that that's what made him not be in rhythm when he's pulling up. So I was saying, why didn't they run him off of a couple of screens, man? Right, because when when Jason gives up the ball, some he don't get it back. Right, they they'll they'll go another way, and then that would frustrate me. Right, like, yes. and Jason don't have the ball sack to say, "Man, give me the damn ball." Give me the damn ball. Yeah, right. I know. So, and the other thing was, I was telling Jason, he's got to learn to identify that. That's that is um, that's basketball IQ. He's got to say, get, you know what? This kid is only six three. Like we, like me and you talked before. Guard this. Boom. Back him down. Guard that. Make him back the fuck up. Yep. You know, and then and then drive past him. And then I mean he had to he had to mix it up instead of doing the same behind the back move and wanting to pull up. Don't fall in love with that. People have scouted that for the last two years. They know what you're going to do. So they know if they get in your handle because you're not the best ball handler. If you get in the handle, you're not the you're not the best ball handler. That's just it's not trash. I didn't say it was bad. I said you're not the best. <laughs> You're not the Mom, Mama's getting critical. You better no, stop. I've been critical. You know, I've been critical. You know, critical since Justin played. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm All right. All right, Mom. Who's who's the better ball handler? Who's the better ball handler? Him or Justin? Come on, at the same time. Justin. Exactly. So he's not yeah. that bad of a ball handler. Yeah, he's not bad as a. He's okay. Not, Right. Listen, I was going to say. He needs to just work on ball handling. Right. His AAU team has got to let him play the ball. He has, Even if he goes transfers to a different AAU team, he's got to be the ball handler yes. to learn that. And that's why he was good. That's why he got good at it because he was able to play ball handling. But what I'm saying, hold on, hold on, let me, hold on. What I was saying is that the basketball IQ has to come into play in game situations like this. He's got to know that he's got to rally his teammate because he's going to need them at some point in time. So he's got to build confidence in them. We know that shooters shoot better when they're confident. So he's got, as the leader, naturally leader, default, by default, he's got to go rally them and build a little bit of confidence so that when they shoot, they shoot with confidence, right? That was number one. Number two, Jason needed to mix up his bag of tricks. Not once did he play with his back to the basket. Not once did he post that kid up and say, you want to be a big boy today? Give me the ball down low so I can back you down. And Deshaun has a great up and under. He has a great turnaround. He has a great spin move. Not once did he go to the high post and uh, to the high post at the free throw line and say, boom, since they're on me at the three point, I'm going to give you the ball. I'm going to high post the, and turn around and shoot. He didn't mix up his bag of tricks. And I think because mentally, that's what I'm saying. He wasn't all there mentally. He was like 90%, which is still an A, like you said, 90%. He needed to be 100% in order to win that game yesterday. Yeah, because they're all tournament time now. Because it's tournament time. So break through the ceiling. When you're at the ceiling, you got to find a reason and a way to break through. Right. I mean, you just, you just do, that's what winners do. And he lost yesterday. So... That's the, I guess that's the lesson. Find a way to break through the ceiling to be a winner. All the way to the state champion. Even if you have to be selfish. See, Je- he's not selfish. selfish. He's got to yes. learn. Sometimes I got to be selfish. Yes. And, right? And find, and, and, and find a good way to be selfish. Right. Make shots. If he makes shots rather than, 
rather than get mad at his teammate, don't let his teammate make a mistake by making the shot, and then his teammate will be happy anyways. Yep, exactly. Or coach the co- be a coach on the floor. In yeah, but that's like asking that. a lot from him still. He's just a kid. I, like I know. I know. Well, he turned 18 now. He thinks he's grown, Bob. He's grown. He's a man. <laughs> he, got over, he got pulled over by the police last night. What? Don't let him tell you about that. Oh, my God. That's going to be a and good he video. Snuck out, he snuck out of his friend's house at 2 a.m. Snuck out? He's doing bad? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> he snuck out at 2 a.m.? I was on the lake. Like, see, that's like I was going to Rossum like, or something. I'm, man... I'd be hearing about all these murders in Atlanta, though. Some rapper just got killed there. Yeah, but we're not, like, in, like, Atlanta. Like, oh. We're not in the city. All right. Like, right on. I thought you still had a good season, bro. Yeah. I mean, you, you can only, if you won all your games, you wouldn't learn anything. You only, you only learn in life by losing. I mean, it's sad yeah. but true. All right. So next time you should shoot ten more times. Right. When you buried that three to get you to forty six to forty three, you should have just taken over the game and just shot everything. You only shot. You only shot two big ones. Yeah, I said uh, But that's how you learn, right? At the next level, you're not gonna. It's gonna be awesome. Every time you dime somebody, it's gonna be someone just as good as you. Um, All right, try to get your phone right. fixed. Huh? Put the baby on again. <laughs> Halo. Not you, baby. The baby, baby. Oh, she's sleeping? All right. Oh, she is sleeping. <laughs> All right, good deal. T- talk to you later, bud. Hey, what's wrong with your basketball skills? Are you timid? What? All right, on the JV. We're gonna be trash in four years, so. You guys are gonna suck next year because there's nobody. Next year, the year after that, and then the year after that too. Unless you get some. Years, I'm gonna be just be wasting, and I'm not gonna have a choice of what school I go to. All right. I gotta stay at St. Francis. So. It's, the school is terrible. You can be like little bun boy when you're a senior. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, you'll be six foot three then, right? Yeah, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> Man, you look just like your dad in that picture when I looked up. You look just like Justin. Who? Your little brother, Javon. Oh. Uh. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. All right. Right on. Have a good one. All right, bye. Bye. Love you guys.